Hello, I'm Reggie Hayes here with Expert Village, and we're talking about laying out your power grid. And a power grid is exactly what it sounds like. It's the base of your home entertainment system or your home entertainment theater. Now, what it means is that your home entertainment theater can be spread out. Things that need power system will consist mainly of your TV and amplifier and your VCR and DVD and all those things. And they'll probably be grouped together. But what happens when lights like this one you see right here are on a dimmer or even the uh, subwoofer right here, which is beside the couch in this case? Those things take power and they will have to be protected off the power grid as well. So what are we talking about? The first thing you pick out when you pick out a power grid is your surge protector. Now this is a commonly mistaken item. It looks like a surge protector. It has outlets like a surge protector, but it's not a surge protector. It has a switch and it has these outlets like we said, but this is more of a power strip, whereas this one right here is your surge protector. This is a surge protector and a power conditioner. It has labels on it. It's a pretty nice one, and it costs uh, you know, a little bit more. This one was around would cost you between 40 and 50 bucks on up. Um, clean power, what it means is this one right here and this one right here are both um, uh, conditioners, power conditioners. And what that means is here in the United States, power runs at 120 volts, 60 hertz. What is hertz? Well, hertz is pretty much frequency. And what it means is that ideally, you'd want your hertz to be like this, or your electricity should come in waveforms like this. All right? This is a pretty clean power representation. It's the same distance here, the same distance here below the line. The rounded circles, it looks pretty good. But what happens is people turn on their air conditionings, people turn on their, uh, their refri well, the refrigerators cut on by themselves. Things happen. And somewhere down the power grid, power can get uh, spiked, it can get surges, and things like that, especially lightning. And what happens is, instead of having these beautiful rounded drawings like this, you get this, which are spikes, um, inconsistencies in your power. Now, these guys right here will help take out that power and make that power clean. This one right here, the reason it's a lot bigger is because this is a battery backup system. What it means is that this has a battery inside of it where if you lose power, uh, this one's good for 1100 watts for an hour, which is quite a bit of an electricity. These things are typically designed more for computer systems, but they work great for home theater systems. Um, it's not designed to watch TV when you have a power outage or things like that. It can. It's nice. It's a good uh, thing to have in a storm. But what it means is that uh, this side right here is on a battery system in this particular one, and this side is on your standard surge. Uh, this is where you would hook up something like a light, this, uh, which is you know, not quite as valuable, you can lose uh, electricity and won't hurt it. But every time you have a power hit and electricity comes back on, it, it can damage your TV or your stereo. And so it's good to have a battery on this side right here to hook up things like your TV and your stereo, uh, subwoofer, anything that might be damaged by taking a power hit. So that's pretty much a wrap on uh, your power grid here. Hopefully by now you understand what clean power is and what it, how valuable it can mean to your home entertainment system.